I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. This is going to be a really cool episode, and I'm very excited to get into it. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres, and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash online and coming to my streams and all that. Uh, you guys are the best, and I appreciate it so, so, so much. And thank you for your patience with the series uh, as we try to do as much as we possibly can. I'm going to Disney in a couple days. In fact, when you're seeing this, I'm probably already in Disney. Uh, and and I, I'm just trying to put these videos up. Um, or when you see this, I've already been to Disney, and therefore, I wonder how it was. Anyways, we, today... Well, first of all, let me look, let me show you what I've done. Uh, you will see that we are a level 14 Vanguard. Corey Shepard here, kicking butt as a Vanguard. Incendiary ammo, I actually respect powers. Uh, I'm still heavy charge, still champion, uh, but I actually put more points into incendiary, took it out of flashbang and shockwave, and I'm just going with uh, incendiary heavy charge uh, champion. That's, that's what we're going to do. When we do get this next skill point, we're able to put four points into incendiary ammo. We're actually just going to go for inferno ammo, which is going to be so strong today's episode though we are going to do dossier tally we're going to go and uh see if we can recruit her she's on the planet haystrom in the geth controlled dolan system so we need to go see if uh she's willing to join our party but before we do any of that we also have if we kelly will actually tell us that uh, Miranda and Jacob actually want us to go talk to them about their loyalty missions. And you could do those and go do loyalty missions before anything. But the reason why uh, I'm doing this when I'm doing this, which is which is right now, uh, is because I love Tally. I love her so much. If I wasn't playing a friendship, I would be romancing Tally in this game, which by the way, you can do. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out. But before we do any of that, we need to go talk to Grunt and Jack because I believe they're going to have some dialogue for us. Shepard. Grunt. Uh, that we're going to want to hear. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just Perfect. sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. And that, my friends, is a very important conversation to have with Grunt before you go into any other missions after Horizon. Because if you don't do, if you don't have that conversation now, you're Shepherd. not. It's going to be kind of hard to have that conversation with him. So Humans I just wanted to point Shepherd. that out now. There's also another conversation that we can get with Jack. And I highly recommend doing that now as well. Because if you talk to her after doing a single mission, uh, it's going to be her loyalty mission. And this conversation that you're about to have with her uh, isn't isn't going to be available 
And uh, I don't want that to happen. I want as much character growth as possible before we do their loyalty mission. So let's go ahead and talk hey. to Jack. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. If I take you too seriously, I might need to deal with you. Try it. Anyway, relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. Hey, tell me about this cult. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. I gotta ask about vandalism. What? I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <laughs> you were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Military's a hard target. But that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. That is true. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you, and thanks for asking. Worth having that conversation now, because like I said, once we recruit Tally, the next time we talk to her, she's hey, just I'm gonna to want to, go. uh, she's gonna want to do her loyalty mission, which hey, hey I don't blame her. She's got a go. lot of shit going yep. on. Jack is a complicated character with a very complicated past, uh, probably the most, she's, she has a horrible past, let's be real. Uh, so we are going now, now that we've done that and we've retrained and we've done all the research that we can, it's time to go recruit the best girl, uh, Tally Zora Naraya, or should I say, as she's known now, Tally, Va Tally Zora Vasnima. She's got a different name. Now you could also talk to Miranda and Jacob and see what they want to, what they want us to do. We're not gonna worry about that right now because I want to make that more part of whenever they give us the loyalty mission. I want to get the loyalty mission and do the loyalty mission uh, in the same episode. So that's. That's what we're gonna do. So now, my friends, so we're gonna leave Horizon and we have to scan everything, but we need to be careful while we scan because there is no way to buy more probes here. <laughs> Venture actually is a pretty good one to do because it's rich uh, and you want, you want rich stuff? Now that we've scanned everything that we can do in the system that we just left, which by the way, Shadow Sea 100%, that's where uh, I love seeing the 100%. You'll notice that in the Crescent Nebula, we have Elium in Recruit the Justicar and Recruit the Assassin. We're not going to worry. And you didn't see anything else. You didn't You didn't see another name out of there, there at all. It was just those three things that I just said. Uh, we're not going to go there yet because that's where Miranda's loyalty mission takes place. Elium is like the next big destination. It's like the, it's like the Citadel or Omega, more like Omega than anything else. It's a, a new hub for us to go to, full of shops and everything else. So instead, we're going to the far rim where we're going to recruit Dossier Tally, the Quarian Engineer from Mass Effect 1, our best friend-ish. First, we have to scan everything. 
Now, something I do want to mention while we were scanning is that we appear to be in deep Geth space. Once a starship refueling station for the Quarians, Trarum, this random planet, has expanded under Geth rule. Thousands of orbital platforms surround this planet and its many moons, refining helium into helium-3. A vast Geth fleet comes and goes between Trarum and Hastrum, where we're going, preventing all but the most stealthy of spy drones from discovering information about it. Current estimates place the Geth fleet numbers between 5,000 and 10,000 ships with unknown levels of armor. Armament. Travel advisory, most intelligence estimates state that approaching Charm is tantamount to suicide. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Jeez Louise. Uh, but we pretty much just uh, went to every planet that we can in this area. There's only three of them. Uh, so we're going to Haystrup, which should give us, if I'm not mistaken, 100% for this system. And if we look here, Formerly a Quarian colony, Hailstrom was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan. The system's parent star, Dolan, appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant, which it looks like it has. It was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, other than establishing several space stations near it. Travel advisory says that Haystrom is a Geth stronghold. Military spy drones using cutting-edge stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned unharmed from Geth space. So, that means that we're landing here because the Quarians are on a top-secret migrant fleet mission here. That even the elusive man doesn't really know what's going on. But we can pick our squad, and I know we just got Jack, and we haven't been able to take Jack on any missions yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and give... Let's change Miranda's appearance and give her that. Anyways, uh, we're going to take Garrus because... Garrus and Tally, man. I mean, that you can't you can't go wrong with the two of them, right? So definitely Garrus, uh, but also we're finally going to be fighting a lot of Geth, which means that uh, Garrus is actually good here. His overload's going to be very strong. Um, he's going to be very useful. And then the other person that I would recommend bringing on this with you is Miranda, is incredibly good. Um, the thing with Miranda, though, is I feel like we're taking her everywhere with us all the time. Uh, so she's actually going to hang out, and I think we're going to bring Kasumi here, who kind of reminds me of Tally a little bit, and she's got Shadow Strike and her own Overload. The point is, we want to bring people that have Overload. That is the, the quintessential thing that you want to do here. Uh, Zaid would also be very good because of his Disruptor ammo, so you can consider that as well. Now, storyline-wise, we could bring Miranda because Miranda's kind of keeping an eye on us and making sure we're doing Subarus things, but I don't really trust Miranda. And we're going, and Tally's not going to either because Cerberus. So I think that in that situation, I think it is best that we bring Sumi with us in the best hopes that Tally will join us. Because remember, she doesn't trust Cerberus at all. So this is going to be our party. We do have some points to spend. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have points to spend for Garrus, a dear, dear lad. Uh, but we have five points to spend for Kasumi. We could make uh, the Shadow Strike be incredibly good. Um, or we could uh, increase... I mean, we could just make Shadow Strike really, really, really good. But we're going to go Overload and make Overload just a little bit better. Uh, it's fine. What she has is still is still really strong. And we're actually going to switch our heavy weapons out, too, for the uh, Arc Projector. Arc Projector is actually going to be very, very good against shields and also synthetic enemies. So that's what we're going to rock. All right. Let's do it. Well, that's good to know. So what have we learned? No shields. That also means... Uh, hi, Garrus. Hi, Kasumi. That also means barriers uh, aren't going to work here. Now, somebody like Grunt, though, who has armor and not shields or barriers, is actually going to have a fine time. The, the sun is not actually going to ruin his shields. But you can see shields overloading already. Oh, my God. So you just got to sprint through these areas and hope that your shields don't go. Luckily for us, we are, of course, a vanguard, so we'll be able to get our shields back I'm pretty quickly. I'm having serious issues with my shields. Yeah, you are. Can we get in the shade, please? <laughs> this is why you bring Kasumi on missions, man. She's the best. Anyways, we'll come down here. It appears dark and spooky. 
Uh, and it looks like there's some things inside, including a damaged get. So let's go ahead and open this door and see what we can find inside. There's nothing else over here. Go ahead and get 3,000 credits from that. Look around here. It looks like the Quarian were trying to get some data about something. Go ahead and grab this med kit. Unfortunately, this Quarian didn't make it. Let's go ahead and open the facility gates. So when we use that gate there, our guns come out, which means we're about to be running into some people, it would seem. And as I say that, there's a Geth dropship that's sitting down some geth we're gonna go ahead and charge here immediately breaking that shield overload uh isn't letting me target here there we go go ahead and overload that one and then let's see if uh she can this should punch through their armor charge here get full shields take out these guys look at that delicious go ahead and charge watch out for this one over there Get down and then charge again. Look at you know what I mean? Like vanguards, man. Watch out because we're getting hit on yet again. Not hit on. You know what I mean. Let's go ahead and overload that. Perfect. And then there's more geth that you can see actually over on the other side there. We're a little bit low on health, but I'm actually not too worried. Uh, there's no items or anything that we can grab over here, which is too bad. Just a bunch of fragile crates. Uh, now, you do have another way that you could go. You could continue down here or you could go up on this top layer. Uh, but I think for us, it's going to be better that we actually hang out down here and avoid the sun as much as possible and just kind of keep an eye up there, make sure that nothing, you know, tragic happens. Go ahead and hit that shield. And then Shadow Strike. Shields are overloading. Yeah, we should find an alternate path. So the way that... Um, the way that it works, the shields, the sun will over, will, will cook your shields, but it won't actually, uh, it won't actually do any health damage, so you can keep that in mind. Now, we're getting hit by a Geth Trooper over here that came down from the stairs, so I want to see if we can actually get a hit on that. Can't target that at all, which stinks, but we got our shields back, so that's okay. You may have noticed that there's actually a pistol over here, a customized heavy pistol and a dead Gorian. So we can get that heavy pistol damage and then just hopefully charge this. And then let's overload. Can't reach the target. Damn, I wanted to charge, but we weren't able to. Let's go ahead and call our troops over, our squad, and then we'll use unity so that these guys get back up. But you can see, I mean, I have no powers right now, really. Let's grab that med station, we fill the meta gel we just used. Charge this guy. There you go. Watch out for some geth. We got... Oh, man. There's so many. But it's fine. Geth are like... Whoa. Charge that. We're trying to do... We're trying to do the best we can here. Go ahead and overload that. Once we get these overloads maxed out, too, it's going to be even easier. To cause issues for these guys. Go ahead, charge. Watch out for the rockets. Charge again. Woohoo! That rocket trooper, though, man. Where are you? Did you go down? Come on, let me get you. Let me get you. Where are you? Right behind? You're right behind there? Oh, shoot. Woo! Oh. <laughs> it retreated so far. I thought for sure we were going to be able to kill it there, but nope. So, uh, coming up here is a little bit dangerous. I would recommend killing things that are a little bit below and then coming up here and dealing with them. Just because if you try to come up here, you're going to be hit by all of the rockets. And there's actually even more so, uh, geth. So, I recommend going the, the other route just for a little bit. I also think that, like, the the places that you can get out of the sun here aren't the best. So, again, our shields are down, so we want to wait until we can get those back. Go ahead and go into cover here. Woo! Go ahead and overload. We're actually going to Shadow Strike. Perfect. Taking that down. Go 
overloading, uh, exploding that. And then let's hope that we can actually, yeah, we can get in here. Oh, that rocket's going to hit us in the face. But charge, eliminate that rocket trooper. So see, that wasn't hard at all. All right, that was a little bit, that was a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. And then we can get this uh, refined iridium for four, 400 of it. We don't really need any, that's the kind of the problem is we don't really need any of this anymore, but hey, you know what? You got to get what you can get. But let's go ahead and continue on. Jeez, forgot how detrimental it can be to a Vanguard to have the sun cooking your stuff. We're going to go ahead and charge this guy, get our shields back. Finish him off. Perfect. Once we start getting, so don't forget, we do have that upgrade on our shotgun now where shotguns actually deal 50% more damage to shields and biotic barriers than they did before, uh, which is very, very useful in a place like this. And I'm glad that we got that now. So no matter what you do here, you're actually not going to be able to save. These guys are actually fighting um, Orions. You're not, no matter what, you're not going to be able to save them. Go ahead and charge. There we go. Ooh, let's go ahead and get that 6,000. That's from a different Geth, one that apparently can go invisible. That's not great. And then we can also grab this and then Tempest SMG over here. Submachine gun acquired. That's awesome. So we get a new SMG. We're not going to worry about that. And then as you'll see, there's a, there's a bunch of people fighting here, which, you know, probably isn't good. I recommend saving actually before picking up this radio. So let's go ahead and pick up this radio now that we saved. I'm here to help, friend. Let's see what we can do. This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. What brought you this deep into Geth controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than should some kind of energy problem oh interesting what's the status of your team how many of you are left we were a small squad dozen marines plus the science team we're down to half strength now made the synthetic bastards pay for it though i don't think they care any idea where the geth came from one of the patrol ships found us drop ships started raining geth down on our heads before we could get off world systems under geth control we knew they made planetary sweeps periodically we hoped going low emissions would hide us do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. Perfect. Then I think we can help them out. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter, then doubled back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. You know what? That's my top priority, too. You got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. You're going to throw your life away for research? Negative. I give my life for the migrant fleet. All the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard. I'm a Marine. They tell me to shoot. I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get them out safe. I've done my job. I like this Hold guy. Position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass. We got a drop ship coming in. Good. That means more geth for me to take down. Baby. Oh no, his best marines. Well. That's probably not. Oh. Crap, doorway's blocked. Grab the demo charges in the buildings nearby. Use them to clear a path. Well, Guess we got some Geth to go take down now. Shepherd, Looks like we weren't able. Area located the demolition charges the quarry commander mentioned. Put it on my radar. Done. You will need both sets of charges. Ooh. Just to clear the rubble. We got a Geth hunter here. That was one of the first times that we've ever actually seen a Geth hunter. Because these did not exist in Mass Effect 1. Nope, not at all. So let's go ahead and charge this guy. Finish that off. Make sure we get the cover from this Geth. 
That melee shotgun combo that you see me doing is actually incredibly, incredibly strong and is one of the main reasons why Vanguard is so good is because they can charge shotgun, melee, shotgun. Uh, and there's a reload trick that you can do if you're using the shotgun, the Claymore, which is an incredibly good shotgun. Um, but you will you can see, I mean, able to punt, pump out some insane damage. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and grab this Iridium here. Even though we don't really care about Iridium, we do care about getting everything that we possibly can. We're going to watch out for this area here. I don't think there's anything over here, but I just wanted to be sure. You can see the Geth in front of us. It looks like Kasumi and Garrus have already started attacking. Unfortunately, not doing well as they are getting absolutely obliterated by this, uh, this Geth Hunter here. We're going to go ahead and charge. Geth Hunter dead. Look how many are in there. We're going to go ahead and get into cover. Charge. Kill that. Turn around. Almost destroying that Geth. That actually was really, really low. Uh, we're going to wait and charge that. Perfect. I mean, uh, the shotgun I meant. Charge. Get shields back. Let's finish this one off. Fortunately, I missed there, but that's all right. What is happening? I'm terrible. Terrible at this game, I tell you. Now that we've cleared out this garage area, what we want to do is obviously loot it for everything that we possibly can. But we also want to be careful not to loot this demolition charge right away. Because if we do that, we're going to have to deal with uh, some pretty tough enemies. So we'll grab this med kit that's down here. And then we'll go up and grab this med kit as well before we actually go ahead and pick up that demolition charge. Trust me, you're going to want to get ready for a pretty tough battle. So we'll go ahead and play. She sure did. Now we can go ahead and pick up this demolition charge. That's one of two. Get ready for uh, some, some problems here. And right away, you're going to see that we are face to face with a Geth Prime. Something we have not faced at all in Mass Effect 2. Probably more dangerous than they were in the previous game. We're going to go ahead and actually charge him right away. And then just be careful. Whoa, buddy. Then we'll go ahead and charge. Get our shields back. And let's use Shadow Strike from Kasumi. This is why we brought hers, because it's so good. Go ahead and charge the Prime again. Look at that. Already getting through its shields. Now, the Geth Prime is pretty much useless once he's on your, his own, because, uh, well, we can just keep toasting him. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see these troopers out here. We'll go ahead and charge. Get our uh, stuff back. And maybe just be a little bit careful here. Let's go ahead and uh, just overload you. Perfect. And then let's go around and overload you. Perfect. Easy. And we still have more to deal with. So we're going to hide here. And there should be some rocket troopers as well. You'll actually see a Geth Destroyer coming in. Geth Destroyers are uh, flamethrowers. They use, they use flamethrowers. So we're going to go ahead, overload this Destroyer. You really don't want those to come in, but they actually died pretty quickly, so we should be just fine with those. We'll go ahead and overload this Geth. And charge him. You know how it goes, man. You know how it goes. Finish him off. Where is he? Done. Easy fight. Easy life. Get Iridium there, and there's also more Iridium, actually, on this map. Uh, maybe we got it already. The Iridium uh, right over here. Oh, we didn't get it yet. So let's go ahead and grab that. For 400. So we just got 800 Iridium. We should get about 2,000 total from this mission. So, And we can come up here and find uh, Tally Zora's journal. We'll go ahead and play that. Let's just say I heard it get. Come down here, eliminate that one. Okay. I actually don't know where those two just came from, but we took them down. So that means we can uh, finish hearing. Tally basically was just saying that this uh, basically shouldn't be happening. The sun should be happening.
And then we can come over here and grab this medical station for a metagel. We can open these shutters, which is actually going to be useful because we're about to start a fight. And we're going to want those. Perfect. So let's head down here. And we're going to go all the way around. Remember this stairwell, though, because we're going to... This area, because we're going to want it after we go over here and do what we need to do. I also recommend using the arc projector, which is uh, the heavy weapon that we brought. You can use that here because there's actually some power cells. So we basically get free use. So we'll go ahead and switch to that. We'll pick up this demolition charge. That's two out of two demolition charges. Now we have to go back to that, that column that collapsed. And uh, we're not going to be alone here because as we come out, a bunch of geth are going to come down, including two rocket troopers. Go ahead and pop that arc. Now, you really want to use this when enemies are grouped up because it's just so incredibly strong when they are. And you'll actually see the perfect time to use it later. Go ahead and pop that. Perfect. You'll see it just absolutely deletes their shields. Go ahead and charge the Sketh Trooper. And we want to be just careful about how we proceed here. Unfortunately, not letting me charge. There we go. Ooh, that would have been a little bit scary. Let's go ahead and use Overload. Charge, get our shields back. That was looking a little bit hairy, but luckily we were able to survive. This is what I mean. Once, once you start getting some skills online, you can kind of start being very, very aggressive as, uh, as a Vanguard. Especially when you have two people that can rip through shields like they are. There's actually more geth uh coming nope all right there's garris thanks garris so let's go ahead and plant those charges we took we we're toasting these guys here man. Move it or lose it. uh you don't have to actually get into cover you just need to get away until it's green nice now we can continue on in here hope for the best maybe get some cool stuff Oh, before we do that, actually, let me go back to where we were so I can grab that heavy weapon since I used the arc projector. Okay, now we can head into this door that we just got those demolition charges for. There is such a cool fight at the end of this, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. What are you doing? Get out of here. Damn, Geth. We can get 6,000 credits off of the Geth that was sitting here. We can also scan this rifle. Candy. There's two words you don't expect to hear together. I think it looks this nice. Deep behind Geth lines. Hope the Quarians got what they were looking for. Yeah, me too. And we can salvage this Geth for 3,000, so 9,000 credits right there. That's awesome. Uh, and then we can, uh, not only can we play Tally's journal. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I am here. I am here, girl. And there she is. It looks like she's looking for somebody to respond. Now, let's go ahead and bypass this ancient wall safe for even more credits. There we go. 6,000 credits yet again. We just got so many credits in this room. It's kind of wild. Uh, now, you can actually go ahead and we'll switch to the cane here, which will obviously refill 100%. But then we'll switch back to the arc projector. So it doesn't even matter if you got the heavy ammo before. There we go. Even better. Uh, and then I also want to make sure that we we switched guns here. And we don't want that. I want the locust still. And it looks like we got everything we can get here. We can't use that door yet. The only thing that we can do is actually communicate with Tally, Vasn Tally Zora Vasnima. Hello? Is anyone there? Yeah, me. Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry. Everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I came here to help. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. What's going on? What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings... 
buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Okay. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. Huh. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. And now we can open this door and continue on. Grabbing this med station, getting those Paragon points. Med station, of course, not giving us much, just the 100, uh, 100 credits now because we're full on us. health. And these are recon droids. Stay frosty. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to run through this entire area. You'll see that there's another prime here. But we're just going to keep running because if you don't, if you stop at all, you're going to have to deal with a ton of these uh, recon droids. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to charge here to get some of our stuff back. And then we're just going to keep moving as quickly as we can and try to get over here before any of this is an issue. And in fact... You can do that pretty easily. And then once you get back here, you can skip that entire fight, especially if you're a Vanguard. We can just ignore this uh, this Geth Prime that's coming at us. Now, the, we kind of cheesed it, but if you stay over and fight this Geth Prime, this Geth Prime will not only keep these recon droids are going to keep spawning the entire time you're over here, but these guys are, uh, there will be actually even more um, Geth Primes that you'll have to deal with. So by doing it this way, we don't have to deal with, we just have to deal with this one. Get our shields back. Overload. There we go. And all of the recon droids are done. They're actually not spawning anymore. This is totally clear. We are totally fine. There's no items that we can get in this area. No iridium, nothing like that. So, cool. Nice and easy. And then we can just use this door. In fact, you don't even need to kill that prime. You could just you could just use this door and you're good. So, that's pretty awesome. Right here, we can bypass this for another 6,000 credits. So many credits. Now, you can skip that part as most classes if you're an infiltrator you can just kind of cloak through it if you're uh there's a lot that you can do there anyways we're gonna have a little a little treat here and i hope you guys are ready for this this is one of the last areas that we will deal with uh, we're actually gonna go refill our ammo before we proceed here because uh my friends we're gonna have a little bit a little bit of an issue and there should be there should be some thermal clips laying around that we can get but as soon as you use that shutter or that security lock i should say uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have the end of this this mission here to deal with, and I want to show you something that's just so cool about it. There we go. There's the thermal clips. Something to keep in mind is if you do come back for ammo and you go too far, recon droids will spawn again. Uh, but they're really not a big deal. The other way that you can deal with this area is the arc projector because it is so strong. Um, you can just use the arc projector and, and kind of call it a day. So let's go ahead and let's actually use this. The security council. Oh, that's not good. Oh God, Colossus! Uh huh. Get down. Ah, uh, definitely like old times. That, my friends, is a Geth Colossus, which you might remember from Mass Effect One, which is actually incredibly strong. Hang on, Shepard. Stay down before that Colossus gets ideas. I just charged I the Colossus. I've no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Oh? Tally's inside over there. Death killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. This is the Marine, Cal Rieger, that we were just talking to. Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. We can't let that happen. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. Oh, that's not good. 
So that's really bad for any Quarians. If they rupture their suit, they have a horrible, horrible immune system. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not going to die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. It's true, it is. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You can wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. The middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Interesting. I love how it's telling us Any where to go. How to deal with the Colossus? Yep. Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. You guys are gonna but like the repair this. repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Nice. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Nope. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. Cal, no. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole Paragon squad. interrupts. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit him for me. Keep us alive. Enemy! So he's going to do that. So we need to immediately get to this Geth Colossus as quickly as we can. Wait for it to fire. We're waiting to charge here. It's not letting us. But we're going to wait. There we go. Now we can get across. And what we want to do is just all day long, just sit here and hit this Geth Colossus. This isn't going to do anything to us. We can just keep firing the arc projector into it. We can even overload here. We can charge to keep our shields up, even though these other Geth are shooting at us. And you can see just how cheesy this part actually is. Then again, and then let's go ahead and actually use... Uh, can't use her Saturn strike right now because she's too far away. And goodbye goes the Geth Colossus. And then we just need to clean up these guys that are here. And all that's all we have to do now is just kill these kill these guys that are laying around uh we should actually be good now perfect that my friends is how you make this uh this colossus incredibly easy as a vanguard the vanguard just completely breaks this fight and walks away without a scratch on her uh it's just it's just really cool to do and then there's iridium uh around here that we can go ahead and get now there's other ways that you could do this. Um, if you can't get that, because it is a little hard to get that um, that charge to go off from the complete other side of the field, uh, but you, you can do it. Um, it works best when you're in cover and you're charging out of cover. Um, that's that's when I found that you can, you can use it more consistently. The big deal with doing that is that it stops shooting the, uh, the minigun at you that it has, and then it will pretty much just kind of sit there remote stationary won't really do anything to you and the other guys will shoot you but there's not enough no death shield. over there uh your cooldown on your shield is going to be is going to be so much you're, you're going to or your charge you're going to be able to charge so much faster than, than anything else so we're just going to run around and grab all the iridium that we can uh there's a bunch of it laying around here so we can go ahead and grab all of this and uh, once you do, for some reason, you're going to start. You can open this as much as you want if you run around. Uh, and this will just start giving you just one Iridium at a time. You can actually farm endless amounts of Iridium by coming and using those, uh, which is a little silly. Cal nice Rieger, job. what's up? I'll get to Tally. I'll just be a minute. Okay, cool. 
And there, this is the area that we skipped when we charged uh, the first time the Colossus, which is just kind of funny. So let's go ahead and let's talk to Tali Zoran Vasnima. You could also bunny hop this area and there will be a bunch of geth on this left hand side that are just kind of chilling one at a time and you can charge them and then and then bah, and then uh you know no issue whatsoever there if you don't if you don't want to do what i did but you should do what i did if you're a vanguard because it's just so much fun it's so cool it's one of those moments that vanguard just really shines so as we come in here we'll see that we can salvage this for nine thousand credits and then if you're playing on hardcore or insanity you can get this rifle here this geth pulse rifle Something to note about this rifle is uh, you can actually just change the difficulty to hardcore if you're playing on an easier thing. Grab this rifle and then change it back, and it's it's fine. Uh, that should be that should be totally fine. That should work uh, if you if you want to cheese it that way and, and get it. But you should be playing on insanity anyways because Mass Effect is super fun on insanity. All right, Tally, how are you, beautiful? Thank you, Shepard. If you're not up. for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. See, I knew she wanted to join us. A lot of Corians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Hmm. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Okay, well, can you join me now? Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your yep. team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Because of me. captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true, Gal Rieger. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. You Keep love to see it, man. You love to see it. We'll level up to now level 15. Get two squad points. We recruited Tally Zora for the team, though loyal to Shepard. To Shepard. Tally Zora's antagonism towards Cerberus necessitates observation. Yeah, right. Also, sending recon units to examine Geth activities in case activities on Haystrom provoke action. We got the Tempest submachine gun. We got the Geth pulse rifle, again, that you can only get on hardcore or insanity. We got assault rifle damage. We got heavy pistol damage. We got 69,000 credits, although that's not actually true. We actually only got 60,000 credits. It's just this weird display thing, although I don't know if that's entirely true. And we found 2002 Iridium. Nice. So let's exit there. And we get the Quarian trophy. Yeah! Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. I agree. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. I love you. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. 
I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. God, I love her. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. That's don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. Why would you tell her that? Like, that's what, that's why Jacob is one of the worst characters. He's such, he's kind of a dick, man. Like, he kind of is. <laughs> like, you're telling a Quarian to go meet a ship's artificial intelligence system? Incorrect. Anyways, let's go ahead and research this now, uh, which will give us assault rifle and assault rifle penetration, which actually does, uh, assault rifles do 25% more damage against armor shields and biotic barriers, which is very useful, especially if you're a class that uses assault rifles. And then heavy pistol uh, damage. We can go ahead and do that as well, even though we don't have enough upgrades for the next one yet. Uh, we're not going to go talk to Jacob or Miranda yet because they're going to talk to us about their loyalty missions, and I'd rather do that all in one one little episode. But Joker, Joker is go probably pretty happy to see Tally because Tally, <laughs> probably the only real sane one ever. Let's go ahead and talk to him. It's great to see Tally on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean, because with the mask, it's... I ah, never mind. <laughs> I assume everything's good going for well. now. All right. Fracture. See you, Commander. I'll see ya. Actually, I wonder if he says anything about uh, this one. Commander. What do you think about well, the people we're Well, it seems like... Ga we Garrus? Well, I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really... Love no it. See you, Commander. Love it, Joker. All right. So, we need to go check on our... On Kelly in our private terminal. And then we can also check on, we need to go talk to Tally because she's definitely gonna have an upgrade for the Normandy. I mean, she is one of the best engineers ever. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Dope. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Me too. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. Corians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Hmm. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful. But with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets. Or what their skin feels like under those suits. Human. They look human. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Commander? Uh, I think that's it. Do you have a moment I to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yeah. Now let's see what we have. Transfer request approved from the Admiralty Board from the Migrant Fleet. Per Tally Zora Vasnima's request included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that a... Uh, additional duties to the migrant fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has given an extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your request. The, the board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due an honored member of the fleet. Absolutely. Admiral Rail Zora. Cool. Now that means that we need to go talk to Tally Zora down in engineering which also means that we can finally go and do the mission for the F fda or fba or whatever they're called couplings for our dear friend uh these these two engineers I've got green across the oh there she is hi shepherd what can i do for you uh normandy upgrades can you do anything to give the normandy an edge over a collector ship definitely with the right supplies i can fortify our shields the Collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. I would agree with you. So then right away we can do ship enhancements, uh, Normandy shield upgrade. That will add cyclonic barrier technology to the ship, uh, which should help the ship survive blast, like the ones that destroyed the first one. Beautiful. Shepard, what can I do for you? Let's talk about Normandy's status. The Normandy Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. All right. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. 
I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Good. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat I'd while taking her. out Geth on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Hmm. Interesting that she's bringing up something about treason. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while. Or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. How is Rieger? Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Could he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. And how are you doing? Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Uh, you know... Why do you hate I Cerberus? I some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Edena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. Agreed. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. I love Thanks her. for coming by. And I love that she immediately found that there's listening devices, tracking devices, and all that other stuff around here. So, in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, I think what we're going to do is uh, look at this place and all of the cover that it has. I wonder if a boss fight's going to be down here. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. The point is, in the next episode of Mass Effect 2, we are heading to the planet Helium. We have a lot of shopping to do. We have a lot of characters to get to know. And I think seeing some familiar faces is going to be super cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres and even bigger shout out to those of you on patreon.com slash missilediner9. Thank you guys so much for your support and uh, keeping me going. I really appreciate you. Anyways, never give up, never surrender to the Geth. Bye, everyone.